Good day and welcome to this video clip in which we are heading to the lower Isan region of Thailand. Specifically, we're heading to Nakhon Rajasima. Alright, so I'm here at uh, near Batu Chumpon, which is in the city center of Korada, Nakhon Rajasima. And uh, Nakhon Rajasima province or Mueang district. So there's a popular and sacred shrine here of Lady Mo or Yamo with a royal title of Talsunri and basically she was the wife of the deputy governor in the early 19th century of Kurat which was under the reign of Rama 1, 2, and 3 and uh, there's a story the Lao army of King Anumo what his name was, had invaded Siam and uh, occupied Kurat at the time and uh, she had a role in in helping to liberate Kurat from the Lao army All right, here we and are there's a few in... stories about that and ultimately she was awarded with a royal title from King Rama III who had ultimately expelled the Lao invaders and besieged the Lao capital Vientiane or Vientian and so they are very proud of this history and that is basically what this monument is at Chumphon Gate, including Yamo Monument as well. So it's a nice little park there. Now you can walk and exercise and pay your respects to the Korat ancestors and the interesting history there. But anyway, from Korat we ultimately went to visit some other historical sites in Pimai. We are in Pimai Historical Park in Pimai, Nakhonatasima province. So give you a quick view of the historical park. I'll give you the exact uh, dimensions of this place, but it's the largest, I believe, um, ancient Khmer sanctuary in all of Thailand. See not the largest ancient Khmer one, which would be in Angkor Wat actually. Angkor Thom in uh, Cambodia, but this is all part of the ancient Khmer Empire. This was the northern outpost city and sanctuary for the ancient Khmer Empire um, roughly a millennia ago. So, you know, anywhere from 800 to 1,200 years ago, was, was which was when this place was originally uh, in action, for lack of a better description. Let's go have a look here. And, uh, so you can see some of this stuff. Walk through them. This is from the west. We're entering from the west. The main entrance is the east. I'll give you a view of that later here. And there's there's doorways and they go all the way the entire sanctuary from east to west and from north to south. So these windows. There's false windows and there's big windows as well. to the south. You can see the doors are perfectly aligned towards the cardinal direction. That's to the north. And this Buddha, the Naga serpent protection style was, um, was uh, mainly 
popular during the, I think it was the 8th century, perhaps 9th century and onwards. And this was a Mahayana Buddhist temple. Unlike most of the other ancient Khmer temples were all originally Hindu, they were converted Buddhist, but this was, I believe, a Buddhist sanctuary from the start, um, one of their earlier ones, the Khmer, the later Khmer, ancient Khmer period. So, let's just go through all the way to the east here. The main entrance is from the east, only an entrance. It's 100 baht to get in here if you're a foreigner, or 20 baht if you're Thai, so take it as you will. Let's have a look there. These doors. Let's give you a look outside here. Descend steps here. Let's see if I give you a full on view of the stupa, of the prang, the main prang. All right, let's finish going out too. Front of the main sanctuary, the principal prong. All right, let's give you guys a view of it. So, this prong here, which is the prong Promatat, uh, was believed to enshrine a statue of of the king Jayawaraman the seventh who was the ruler at the time that this Pimai was built here the original statue has been enshrined at the Pimai National Museum it's far from here but now they've got a replica statue here of King Jayawaraman the seventh. So that wraps it up to my recent visit to Pimai Historical National Park in Nakhon Rajasima. And uh, out here on the compound you can see these ancient pools, uh, which are dried up now, where presumably water was kept for uh, religious rituals and ceremonies. Um, one thing to discern about these sites is that they were religious sites, not necessarily like castles where kings and queens lived full time, but mainly came to pay pilgrimage to Hindu or Buddhist deities. And so yeah, interesting place and if you ever get a chance, I definitely recommend to visit. So thanks for watching and in the follow-up clip I hope you'll join me in my visit to Buriram.